Hello everyone, I'm Harry, welcome to my channel, and today we're going to look at the Ages 5 State Overdrive by Walrus Audio. So before we get started, if you like this demo at any point, please leave a like, comment and subscribe, and hit the little bell notification for me as well. It really does help me out a lot, and that way you won't miss out on any of my future uploads. There's going to be gear affiliate links down in the description to the Ages Overdrive, and all the gear I used in this video, and to record my videos. These do help support the channel out further, so I'd really appreciate you going and check them out. So this is Walrus Audio's latest drive pedal, and the first one in around four years, I believe. And they wanted to come back and do something really unique, because the market is just saturated with overdrive pedals. So like I said, it's actually a five states overdrive, meaning there's five different clipping options, as well as another nice little feature on the front of the pedal. So we have a simple volume control, which is the overall output, like you'd assume. The Ages has actually quite a bit of volume on tap, so the volume knob will be helpful to find in the sweet spot for interacting with the rest of your rig, whether you want to boost into a dirty amp a little bit, or just have unity volume. Now the cool little feature that I was talking about is the dry control. So the dry knob controls the amount of dry guitar signal mixed in with the overdrive signal at the output. With this control at minimum, all the dry signal is removed from the output, just leaving the overdrive. And then slowly mixing it in will increase note clarity and give the driver more pushed amp feeling. And it's actually also really handy for if you're using this on bass. So the gain knob sets the amount of gain applied to your guitar signal passing through the overdrive circuit. We also have two band EQs, the bass and treble, and now we can use both of these at 12 o'clock as kind of flat. And then we can either boost or cut if we want as well. And then, like I said at the beginning, we have the five-way selector clipping and mode switch as well. So mode one is a low gain mode with symmetrical silicon soft clipping, which is compressed and smooth. Mode two is a low gain mode with symmetrical LED soft clipping, which is pushed, open and sparkly. Mode three is a higher gain mode with symmetric silicon soft clipping, which gives the overdrive increased saturation and is nice and tight. Mode four, we have another higher gain mode with symmetrical LED soft clipping, which is saturated, punchy and big sounding. Finally, mode five is a high gain mode with symmetrical silicon hard clipping, which is heavily compressed, thick and chewy. So we're going to check out the pedal with a couple of different guitars. We're going to use my Macmull S Classic for some strap tines, my Macmull T Classic for some tele tines, and my 1958 Reshoot ES335 with Monty's low output PAF humbucking pickups for some humbucker tines. The amp I'm using today is my Cornell Romney Pro, which is kind of like a Fender Tweed version on Blackface Territory, and that's been recorded by the Lewitt MTP440 dynamic microphone, which is like an SM57 with a tiny bit more bass. So the Macmull S Classic straight into the Romney Pro sounds like this. <laughs>
Thank <laughs> you. 
So there we have it, that was a look at the Aegis 5-state overdrive from Walrus Audi, a really unique sounding overdrive pedal that is highly flexible due to the 5-way clipping mod selector switch in the middle, and then having that nice little drive blend to get some more punch, amp light drive, and increased night clarity to your sound makes it even more versatile, and all the mods sound incredible as well. I've always been a big fan of Walrus's pedals, and I'm yet to play one that I dislike. This could easily be the only overdrive on your board that would cover so much sonic territory, and it's all accessible in a really easy to use format. So if you like that pedal demo, please leave a like, comment and subscribe, and hit the little bell notification for me as well. It really does help me out a lot, and that way you won't miss out on any of my future uploads. Again, there's gonna be gear affiliate links to the Aegis overdrive and all the gear I used in this video and to record my videos down in the description. These do help support the channel out further, so I'd really appreciate if you go and check them out. Other than that, go onto my channel, check out some of my playlists, I have plenty more lessons, covers, gear demos, how to sound like videos, and anything guitar related. As always, I've been Harry, and thanks for watching.